This training program is designed to provide operators with information on how to safely and effectively use chemicals to clean equipment. The program focuses on three areas, improving fleet appearance, understanding chemicals, what they're designed to do and how they work, and how to safely and effectively apply those chemicals. Which company would you choose for your next job? As competition continues to raise the bar, it's not enough just to be the low-cost producer. In today's environment, cost, timeliness, service, and professionalism all play a part in securing and maintaining business. As they say, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. When looking at this photo, what's your first impression? Is the truck going to make it back to the shop? Is there any concrete left in the drum? I bet they're the cheapest in town. Poor fleet appearance quickly translates to higher maintenance costs. An unprofessional image, unreliability, poor quality, and increases your chances of getting inspected by DOT. Now what's your first impression? Will you remember them for your next project? A well-maintained fleet will not only result in lower maintenance costs and improved reliability, but will also reflect a professional image, a company that is service-oriented with high product quality. It will also translate to improved driver morale. Which company will you choose? So, how do we get to where we want to be? First, we need to talk about the importance of chemicals in the cleaning process and how they work. Depending on what you're trying to clean or remove will determine the type of chemical you use. Soil types can be broken down into two categories, organic and inorganic. Organic soil examples are grease, oil, dirt, road film, and grime. The best way to remove organic soil is to use an alkaline cleaner or a product with a pH greater than 7. Inorganic soil examples are concrete, lime, calcium, and rust. These are generally removed with an acid-based product or a pH below 7. There are other additives that are often included in both types of products that assist with the cleaning, such as surfacants, builders, and chelating agents. Remember, using a product not intended for the right application can waste time, money, and in some cases damage a vehicle's surface. Now that we've talked about some general chemistry basics, let's focus more on concrete removers. As an inorganic soil, the only way to remove concrete is to dissolve it using an acid. There are many acids that can be used. Muriatic, sulfuric, sulfamic, acetic, phosphoric, and other organic acids. Many traditional acids like muriatic, sulfuric, and phosphoric offer the advantages of being less expensive and fast acting, with the biggest disadvantage of being more corrosive and often requiring multiple treatments. Other organic acid types, on the other hand, offer the advantage of being deep penetrating and less corrosive. Their ability to completely dissolve with low corrosion rates does come at a cost as they are more expensive than traditional acids. As the following video illustrates, traditional acids will quickly stop acting, while organic acid types will continue to dissolve over time. So, which products are approved for use? For general cleaning, from the ring to the front of the truck, equipment wash is approved. For concrete removal from the ring to the back, SureCrete, SureCrete 2, and Crete Clean are all approved. Before we start to talk about the application process, let's talk safety. When working with chemicals, it's always necessary to protect yourself and others from harm. Before you start, make sure you are wearing the correct PPE. Safety glasses, hard hat, high visibility gear, and gloves are all required. Also, ensure you know where the nearest eye wash station is located. The next step in cleaning is determining the method of application. The most common methods are using a bucket and brush, where you fill up a bucket with chemical, add water, and apply with brush. The other is using a spray all system that pre-dilutes the chemical with water at a ratio of 3 to 1. 
The last method is using a foam applicator that pre-dilutes with water and injects a stream of air to create foam. The foam allows the chemical to stay on the truck longer, allowing for maximum dwell time for the chemical. It will also allow you to apply a more concentrated mix of chemical and water. So, what product do you use and where? Since the highest concentration of concrete is from the ring to the back of the truck, use SureCrete, SureCrete 2, or Crete Clean. From the ring to the front, use Equipment Wash. Using the correct product saves time and money. Remember, if it doesn't have concrete on it, you don't need to use concrete remover. Before you begin washing, make sure there are no visible leaks or damage to the equipment. Turn water and then air onto the unit. This ensures proper dilution and foam. Slowly open valve on handle to relieve any trapped pressure. Starting with the heaviest buildup areas around the rear of the drum first, apply with the foamer or spray all in a controlled pattern. Avoid getting close to the work surface. Let product set on truck for 10 to 15 minutes to allow for proper activation. If you're using an organic acid such as SureCrete, you can gently rub your hand on the surface to see if it's dissolving. Leave the product on the drum for as long as it stays moist. Note, if the product dries, it will be necessary to reapply a light coat to reactivate or mist with water. After concrete has dissolved and before the product dries, brush it in to remove any additional buildup. To prevent further buildup, ensure you brush in those hard to reach areas. After brushing has been completed, rinse the truck down thoroughly with water. Proper rinsing is critical to ensure nothing has a chance to dry on the surface and build back up. So, what are the keys to a clean fleet? Choose the correct product for what you're trying to remove. Ensure enough time for the product to work. Use a brush to help agitate and spread the chemical. Rinse well with water after cleaning. To help reduce future buildup, ensure you're rinsing both before and after concrete loads. Remember, you can make a difference in making a good first impression.